They are taking every bolt, every tank, every square inch of this old large brewery here, once the largest in the state, selling it to the highest bidder, getting it out of Woodenville to be replaced now. The beer replaced with wine. Sparkman Cellars and DeLille Cellars. Also, we now know Teatro Zanzani moving into that space as well. Here's the DeLille folks. This will be some office space, um, and then this platform is actually going to extend across and we'll have an awesome mezzanine level overlooking production. This is the old Red Hook tank spot, um, and we're going to turn this into our production facility um, and barrel storage. That's DeLille CEO Tom Dugan says the winery will fill 30,000 square feet of space with all of its operations. DeLille is the third oldest winery in Woodenville at 26 years old. It, along with Sparkman, now plan on allowing the public to watch every stage of production, sample the wine in a few separate tasting rooms, and have a large event space next to the dinner show circus theatrals in Zani. DeLille's enjoying steady growth on the backs of Washington's exploding wine industry and major development on the east side. We love Washington fruit, um, and we think Washington, you know, makes wines that are better than, or as good or better than, you know, the rest of the U.S. And, and so, you know, Woodenville has been very good to us, has been a great home since 1992. And DeLille will keep its chateau location open in Woodenville, but move everything else to Red Hook. We're going to hear from Sparkman Cellars up in our next hour. One million people, Stephen Joyce pass through Woodenville every year, according to the chamber. That's a lot of people for such a small town.